Hello everyone, today I will be showing you how you can fix black screen bug in Epic Games Launcher. So someone requested this video. Also I think I have made this video a long time before but I am remaking this. Simply let's get started without wasting, wasting much of your time. So the first thing that we need to do is to open up Run. You can open up Run by right clicking on the Windows icon or the charm if you're on Windows 8. If you are on Windows 7 which I hope nobody is, you can simply open Run or you can press Start plus R and we're gonna type in percent and local app data because we want to go into local without going into roaming and then coming back in here let's go to epic games launcher in here just press e i just drag down like that so epic games launcher go inside saved and this web cache folder you see you have to delete it now i do think that a lot of people have already told this before also if you want to see what's inside they're just simply the cache that it makes out of your gpu and all the local rendering that it does so we're just simply deleting it nothing much of uh, time waste, but but that will indeed work that if uh, you can try opening epic games launcher now i hope it will work but if it doesn't we can follow the other steps now a lot of people say that you need vpn which i do think you sometimes do you can always try that but there are a few things without getting into vpn you can do before so the first thing would be to head on to where epic games launcher is located so this time i'm gonna bring in my icons i i, I hit them okay there <laughs> so i'm gonna just get this to desktop so i pause it you might have epic games launcher shortcut like that just simply right click on it go to properties and there's there are a few things that you can do go to compatibility settings also make sure that you have checked the, to run this program as an administrator also make sure that you have run this program in compatibility mode of windows you can try you can try uh, doing a lot of try windows 7 try windows 8 but i do think you should try windows 8 because now they have launched hot fixes and those hot fixes only work in the newer version of uh, microsoft windows so do not try like xp or something like that i, I recommend trying windows 8 so simply click apply and okay try it if it doesn't work head on and then i think you want to do is to click on right click on your desktop and go to display settings once in here you have to just simply change your uh, display settings to something like around uh, 1024 to 768 now that's gonna mess my pc up but just click on keep changes i do want i'm recording oh indeed i am this is gonna probably hit me on editing part but i do think i can work along okay so once that done you can now try opening up a game launcher which i do hope will work I, I really have to change this back because i really hate how it looks the next thing that we can do is is finally want to change our dns settings if you don't want to use a VPN. You need to head in your control panel. Another way you can go in there would be to right click on your, uh, oh shit, I clicked on <laughs> Open your network and internet settings and here you have to find a network and sharing center. That's where we are headed. Uh, it should open now. So before that, uh, in here, go to control panel, go to network and internet. Here you see network and sharing center back there. Click on whatever type your connection is. It could be wireless, ethernet, WiMAC, I don't know. Then simply when that done, click on properties. In here, properties, you have to find TCP IP. Go to properties and in here, uh, you already can see I have another DNS setting. It's of open DNS. I'm gonna put that those all down in the you can of course check them out uh, we can click on it, it might be in your something like this uh, it could be like this something might be written but I do think you can make sure that you keep that data do not lose it whatever it was written there there are two DNS servers it could be Google or open DNS I was using open DNS but you can use anything you want like Google is 8888 and 8844 it's like this I, uh, everything's given down below in the description don't worry like he's typing so fast he's not telling me what's that so something like that the another thing that we have here is open DNS which I do prefer sometimes it's it's 20867 and 222 222 and the alternate for it it's 20867 220 whoops 220 220 but once you have entered that simply click on validate settings up on exit click on okay close close now there's one thing that you really want to do is actually to flush your dns in case if you want to for that you can simply open cmd and i close it now open up cmd and i simply type crs to clear screen uh, what you want to do is to type in ipconfig and it's also given down in the description type in flush dns enter so make sure that you are as an administrator doing all this stuff and once you have done that give your pc a final restart which i do recommend sometimes and then try it again even after this if it isn't working you can try for one thing is uh, to disable a firewall so when inside network and sharing center you'll see windows defender firewall down at very down here click on that and right here just for now just for now you have to click on turn windows defender firewall on or off click on that and make sure on both private and public network you disable it which i do not recommend you have to re-enable it as soon as you do all that stuff which i'm going to be doing later this so once you have done that head back to epic games launcher and launch it i'm going to do it for you is my mouse flickering for some reason? I, I, I really don't get it. This is great. So great.
and uh, you see it opens up as normal i really have to wait a bit long because uh, damn quarantine <laughs> Here we are, and there's everything. I, I already had to install and reinstall Fortnite. I deleted it, in case you don't know. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe this video so that I can activate my windows. Again, thank you. Make sure to, uh, thanks for watching.